This is Friends Like These. And this is Ian Wright. <laughs> Out the men from the boys, the women from the girls, and the friends from the foes. We've got two teams of best mates who'll be putting their friendships bang on the line. And what for? Well, one team could win a holiday that's full on, full fat, and full of fibre. It's gonna be tough, there's gonna be strain, and there's gonna be pain, but it's gonna be so worth it. That's enough of that. Let's get some friends out here. First, it's the girls from Manchester! <laughs> Five fun girls from Manchester who have grown up together and been best friends for eight great years. Individually, we are totally different, but as a team, we are invincible. Becca would like you to think she's the shy, retiring type, but we know she has hidden secret powers. She's a demon dancer and she's a super girl. Then there's Caroline, our very own warrior princess. She has superior athletic abilities and she'll strike fear into the boys tonight. Our next whirlwind is Laurie. She's the eighth wonder of the world and she's sure to make the boys' heads spin. Katie keeps her superpowers under wraps, but when the chips are down, she'll go straight for the heart. Just don't cross her. Finally, there's me, George. I'd go to the ends of the earth and do absolutely anything to help my friends. Boys, you're only mortal and tonight... We're gonna whip you! So, ladies, you ready for the fight? Yeah. Are you feeling absolutely. confident? Definitely. You're looking, you look very well, if you don't mind. <laughs> me saying. Very, very, so you're up for it. You're very confident. You're going to beat the guys. Yep. Yes. yes. No problem. No Definitely. problem. Let's hear it for the girls. <laughs> One time. Okay. The girls are very confident. So let's bring out the guys that the girls want to beat. It's the boys from Bournemouth. Hi. We're the guys from Bournemouth. We all met in Stickhorn four years ago. One of our favourite pastimes is making low-budget spoof horror films. We call Brian Mr Psycho because he's always pondering something, whether it be a song on the radio or about how big the universe is. Anthony is the anchor, faced by absolutely nothing. His actions are insane, but his mind is the total opposite. Paul is the luckiest man in the world. To watch him, you may think he drifts along, but look more closely and you'll see he treads pretty carefully. And whatever life throws at him, he always manages to bounce back. James is the biggest bloke on the team, with the best sense of humour and the loudest laugh. He's got a body full of rippling muscles from his mad obsession for rowing. And I'm John. I'm the ideas man. I love music and all things fiction. And since a young age, I've been obsessed with film. Individually, we're really competitive and are always desperate to steal the limelight. But tonight, we're united and are ready for action. So watch out, girls. We've got the big ball! Bring me a goal! So guys, you absolutely ready for it? Definitely. You're gonna beat the girls? Yeah. Looks like a good game. Let's hear it one more time for the guys from Bournemouth. Come on! Yeah! So, I'm here, the fans are here, the teams are here, but this time tomorrow, one of them could be here. It's Oriental Adventure this week, teams. In a few hours, one of you lot could be jetting off to Southeast Asia and Singapore. It's a bustling cosmopolitan city, and once there, you'll see the sights, learn ancient crafts, and sample some native traditions. Plus, enjoy a VIP junk trip, and in the evening, chill out at the famous Raffles Bar with a Singapore sling. Then it's off to Sunkiss Bintan Island for an experience that's just too good to be true. You're gonna love Southeast Asia at its most exciting. Good luck, teams. Can we pick them or can we pick them? Ain't that nice? That is a lovely holiday. And all our teams have to do to play for it is to beat the other team. Simple. Or is it? Mitch, tell us. 
Right now, righty, now there are five challenges which will decide which team plays for that holiday to Singapore. Each friend plays once and once only, so the key is choosing the right player for each challenge. So the fight for the fun in the sun starts right now. Mitch, unleash challenge one. OK, consider it unleashed righty now. Challenge one is shuffleboard. Our players each have five metal pucks and they'll take it in turn to slide them up the board into this scoring area. Now the players may block each other's pieces or knock them out of the way at any time, so it's anyone's game until the very last puck is played. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. So you need someone who's a quick learner with a delicate touch and a tactical genius. This is the only time you get to choose from all five, so take your time with it for the first time tonight. Put your faith in a friend. <laughs> Ladies, our first challenge. Need a point on the board. Who's it going to be? Becca. 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 Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> Why Supergirl? Well, she's going to fly through the challenge. Is it? Oh. <laughs> nice one. So, why is it, what skills has Becca got to make her the one? Well, she's forward in hockey, so she's okay. accurate aim. Always scores the goals. And Goal shooter. Shooting netball. Yeah. Shooting netball. Yep. She's tactical. Does she speak? Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so she's the, she's she just equally wicked. She's <laughs> just, <laughs> you're just, you're just, you're just into the zone. You're just ready for the game. Yeah, I'll do it. Just focus. I'll do it for the girls. Do it for the girls. Yeah. You're gonna get that first point. Yeah. yeah. And you're very confident in yeah. that. It's in yeah. the bag. It's, it's in, in the bag. bag. Okay. Definitely. Let's see what the boys say. <laughs> guys, the game with Becca. Who's going to be for the guys? It's going to be Paul. 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 Yeah. The question that is now in my head, huh. have you ever played Supergirl? Never. <laughs> She's super. I know, I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah, but not enough to phase me, I don't It's know. not going to phase you? <laughs> Why do you think you're going to be good at this? So I'm good. I'm good at sports with nice skills and tactics and stuff. So he's well, got Paul. the game at home. <laughs> he's got the game at home? Yeah. <laughs> similar. He's got a miniature guys. version of that game. So that means you should be pretty good. You should beat her then, shouldn't you? I'll give it a go. You're going to give it a good go? Yeah. OK, so, got the right guy. Yeah. OK, Mitch, we've got Becca for the girls and Paul for the boys. Well, sounds like a good choice to me in this challenge. They're going head-to-head. -head. So, Paul and Super Bowl Becca, please both take up your challenge. can aim for the five zone, but you do risk overshooting, scoring nothing, which we don't want. OK, you can use your puck to score yourself, or you can use it to knock your opponents off the board. It's up to you, OK? Mm. The boys won the toss and decided to go second, so, Becca, you're going to be going first. Yep. All the very best. Thank you. Roll it when you're ready, or even slide it when you're ready. <laughs> Get behind her, then. Come on, girls, so a delicate touch is required here. That doesn't look too delicate to me. Put the brakes on. Looks good. Looks good. It looks good. It looks good. That's more like it. One goal to the boys. Bit soft. Oh, just a bit too soft there from Becca. But she's blocking the centre of the board, which could come in handy later. It's a blocker. Oh. First one very good. Oh, the guy's knocked it off. He's knocked himself off, but still 1 0 to the boys. That was fortunate. So, Bex, he's got one, you can either knock it off. Looks a bit better. There's a. Oh! You're getting it though, aren't you? You're getting it. Cool. Three pucks left. One point on the board. Take your time. Take your time. One point on the board. <laughs> it looks good. He's knocked her on. He's knocked her on. He's knocked her in, so it's 2-1 to the girls now. Take your time. She is super, but you do not need to do that for her. <laughs> Another one in, you'll be putting him under all sorts of pressure. You've only got two left, he's got two, so take your time. That 
Travis nice looks better. Knock him. Oh! Hey, it looks like Beck has found that aim. It's 2-0 to the girls. So, you need to get a point. You need to get in the free zone, preferably. Take your time. It looks hard. Oh! So, Beck, if you can get this one in there, in the scoring zone, it would be hard for him to knock both of them off. So, it's up to you. So this is Becca's final pop. Can she make it count? It looks like it's too long. Oh. Oh. One left. Anything about the two zone, you will be taking a point home for the boys. But if you miss, it's a point for the girls. Take your time. As much time as you need, Paul. It looks long. It's long. Uh, game's, game at home's going in the bin. Is that right? Night, yeah. It was very kind of you to help Supergirl out with the first puck row, isn't it? Yeah, they'll need it. They'll need it? Yeah, give them Bex? the point. Yeah. What, Will you I need say? the point, or no. is that just sour grapes? No, there's many more to come. Many more to come! What's the scoreboard telling us? Uh, well, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a point for Bex. One challenge down. The Bournemouth boys yet to score. Manchester girls have one point. Lucky fellas, only one point down. Still plenty of time to go. Girls, very good start. Keep that going. Mitch, what's up next? Up next in challenge two, and it's sensor. Now, have a look at this. This robot can only move by following the black line. Unfortunately, the line is incomplete. So our players must arrange these nine tiles to create a single unbroken line to the finish point. And the tough part is the robot starts when they do. So speed here is of the essence. If it runs out of track, it's game over. Whoever gets the robot the furthest wins the point. So you're looking for someone who's got an analytical brain and is calm under pressure. It's faith in a friend time. <laughs> Fellas, one nil down. Need to pull it back. Who's it going to be? John. It's it's John. 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 Yep. Yes, Why mate. John? He's the forward-thinking one in the group. Forward-thinking. He's, uh, he's always been the editor in the little films that we've done, and uh, so he's constantly having to think one step ahead, and we think that will give him the edge in a game like this. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your school, because I heard something interesting about the school you went to. Uh, and when I did my GCSEs, I went to uh, an all-girls school, yeah. You <laughs> was the only guy in yeah, the school? Was. Yeah, the only guy. Did you play netball? Yep, I was the best on the team, man. <laughs> <laughs> Being the best of the team in a school of all girls, man. Well, all the best, so... Very experienced guy with the ladies. Who's going for the girls? Laurie. Laurie. How come? She always used to do crossword puzzles and <laughs> random little games, and her mind is so logical that she will definitely get this way of thinking in this game. And you've got to beat in deadlines, apparently, aren't you? You can <laughs> Well, I yeah. will have to leave everything to the last minute. Is that right? So I've had a She's lot of pressure. experience of being under pressure. And I'm lazy. <laughs> and I'm very lazy. Yeah, so. you're very lazy. Yeah. That's right, because you, you can fall asleep just like <laughs> at the top of the blind, apparently. It's a handy skill, I'll tell you that right now, yeah. What do you mean? Where's, where's the weirdest place you've just fallen asleep? Um, probably on a, on a bus with George going through the Rockies. <laughs> which one? Was it Rocky 2, Rocky 3? Which Rocky? <laughs> Those Rockies. That was obvious, Those weren't it? Had to stay come. Stay <laughs> But you're, so, you're going to be up for it? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Mitch, got a lorry for the girls and John's going for the boys. Yeah. Okay, this challenge the girls are going first, so boys, please keep up on your blindfolds, we've given you. And John, a pair of headphones as well, so you can't hear anything. And Laurie, please take up your challenge. Hair up, you've got to. Yeah. I'll, I'll do mine, but I haven't got an elastic band. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling now you're up here? Um, Girls are over there, you're over here on your own. Does I'm it bother fine. you? No, not at all. You're very, very calm. I'm surprisingly calm. You're ready for it? Very ready. Okay, remember, whoever gets the robot across the most correct tiles yep. wins. Okay, you start on the third beep. Here come the peeps. Good luck. <laughs> 
And off goes the robot. It's programmed to follow the black line, so all Murray has to do is make sure there's a line there for it to follow. Can Laurie make speed, speed? And can Laurie stay awake long enough to complete this challenge? That's all right, Laurie. Come on, 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 Laurie. Hey, first tally in. Yeah. And the second, she's doing well. Now, Laurie knows all about speed, apparently. She was a fantastic sprinter at school. And will that help her here? She's going to have to be quick. What about the straight, the straight one? The straight. The straightish one. The straight one. Yeah. Like guys. Some completely useless help there from the girls. Right. Yeah. 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 No. The other one. Try that one. Sorry. Try the one that's above it in the right corner. That. No. no yeah. 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 See, everyone's an expert, but it's Laurie actually up there doing it under pressure. Try the one. Trapped up. Come on, Laurie, the robot's coming. There we are, after trying practically every tile, there's the third correct one. And as the robot approaches, the fourth in position. That's it. Keep calm, Laurie. Keep calm. Here comes the robot onto the tiles. And this is where things start getting hairy. That robot grinds to a halt when the line runs out, so she's only got seconds left. Now he's run out of track. There's four tiles for the girls. Oh, you've got four tiles. Think it's going to be good enough? Hopefully. Hopefully. It's think it's going tough. to be good enough? You think it's going to be good enough? Yeah! Well, let's hear it for Laurie then! Well done, Laurie. Well done, Great effort. That was great, Laurie. Four in the correct position and a lovely night on the tiles for our robot. <laughs> now, boys, take off the blindfolds for me now and John's headphones too. And welcome back. Now, Laurie did pretty well. Are you the man to beat her? Let's see. John, please, take up your challenge. So, John, 1 0 down. You the man to get the point for the boys? I'll be bringing it back for them. You're yeah. going to be bringing it back for the boys. Are you confident a... that John is going to bring the ball? Yeah! Can't tell you exactly how she's done yet, but to win this one, you've got to get the robot across the most correct tiles. Okay, my friend? Okay. You start on the third beep. Here come the beeps. So, four tiles for John to beat, but I think he might be wasting precious time by standing at the wrong end of the puzzle. He is. No, John, the other side. And he's ignoring his teammates. I think a spell the headphones and blindfold put him slightly to sleep. John, start on your left. This one. Start on your left. This side is that one. Come on, John, pay attention. On the other the side! Other side. Oh, the other side. Oh, yeah. At last, the penny's dropped. Oh. He's going to have to struggle to catch up now. He's wasted about a quarter of his time already. Now, it's really not looking too good for John. But at least there's one tile in. Now, the robot approaching, he really is running out of time. He's got his work cut out to beat four. Second time. No, no. The straight one, John. 
robot round to its final approach. Now the boys tell me that John was in the cadets oh, the known for his orienteering skills, John, which really should come in useful here. He's running out of time. Amazing, he's come back from nowhere to go four tiles. He's already drawn with the girls and could still win this. The one on the right, John. Robots on the ramp, on the way up to the tiles. And as Laurie got four tiles for the girls and the robots virtually on the board, it looks like we might be heading for a draw. That's it, five tiles correct. I bet he's sweating. Six tiles. Started at the wrong end. Yeah, no, why would you you continue to start the wrong end? Again, take the left one. I was like, the left one, the left one. <laughs> that one, because the thing about it is, if you constructed that side and the robot went up there, you wouldn't get no tiles. I just wanted to make it a bit more interesting. Leave, to leave a bit late. Leave you know, a bit late. Well, a bit well, you done on. pretty well. It's I did it, man. Yeah. Point for the boys. What's happening on that scoreboard? Let's have a look. John certainly knows how to build tension. Manchester girls stick on one point, but thanks to John's tarlang, the Bournemouth boys now have one point. Back on square, still anyone's game. Mitch, tell us about the next challenge. An excellent idea. Challenge three is balance sphere. Now the object is to carry this sphere from one end of the obstacle course to the other. The trouble is inside the sphere is a pendulum. If it starts swinging and makes contact with the metal ring around it, a buzzer sounds and the contestant gets a three second time penalty. The winner will be whoever completes the course in the fastest time. So this needs steady hands, steady feet and good balance skills. So prepare to pick, it's faith and a friend time. Girls, boys pulled one back. Who's going to make it 2-1 for you? Caroline. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why Kaz? We had uh, a, a fashion show and uh, she had to wear these six inch kind of very, very cut, like needles, okay. boots, and uh, she managed to do a proper catwalk on it. Cool. Didn't, Didn't fall, fall over, over once. once. Didn't you? <laughs> so you're good at balance then, yeah? Yeah. yeah she, used, she, she used to be a gymnast and she was really good at it yeah. and she could do backflips on the beams and wow. stuff. So She won't be phased by the boys because she she's got be two phased. older brothers. So. so Kaz for the girls. Who's it going to be for the guys? James. 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 Why James? Because of his uh, huge, steady hands that he's got there. Massive hands. <laughs> huge yeah, hands. Yeah. Yeah. Huge hands. Immense. What else do you do with those big hands? Well, sadly, I haven't had much experience with uh, balance beams or high heels. But okay. uh, I, I do Is row it? a bit, and okay. uh, you need balance for that. So, going for the guys, we're going to have James for the girls. It's going to be Kaz. OK, in this challenge, the boys are going first. So, Kaz, can you put on your blindfold and headphones for me, please? And James, come and take up your challenge. <laughs> so, feeling good, Biggin? I am. I am pretty confident. Okay. I will take up this challenge. Take up the challenge, James. OK. Get yourself into position. Okay. Pick up the sphere, James. OK, remember, James, every time the buzzer sounds, you get a three-second penalty. OK. OK, good luck. You start on the third beep. Here come the beeps. <laughs> The 
this is nice and very steady from James so far. He rose for his university three times a week, which he reckons should have sharpened his balance skills. Again. Take your time. You ready? Go on, mate. Yep. Start the clock. Go, go, go on, James. It's good. Keep it steady. Easy on, goes, James. mate. Easy oh, goes. Yes. Talitha, James. Talitha. Oh, yes. This is good, man. This is good. Oh, this is nice. This is wicked. Come on, James. It is wicked. Oh, yes. Good time so far. He needs to stay focused. It's not over till that sphere's on the podium. Okay, okay. Just take time. It's okay. Stop. Come on, Ready? James. Come Start the clock. Careful, oh. careful, careful, careful. Stop. Sorry. Take your time, James. All right. Stop. Careful, Ready? careful. Yeah. Start careful. the clock. Go on. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Well done, James. One minute, 13 seconds for the lights. Excellent. That was really good. That was excellent. You only said it off three times. How do you find it? People don't realise how nerve-wracking that is. It is. It is very nerve-wracking, actually, particularly the, uh, the it's, ramp. Yeah, it's, it's a very tricky little device there. It is. Didn't he deal with that pretty well? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well? Let's hear it for James, eh? Well done, James. 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 Now, uh, girls, can you remove Kaz's blindfold and the pair of headphones as well? Hello, Kaz. Welcome back. Feeling confident? Please take up your challenge. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you feeling a little bit worried or are you still Quietly ready to confident. take it on? Quietly confident. Think you're going to do it for the girls? Definitely do it for the girls. She's going to do it? Yeah! Okay, let's get into position. <laughs> Sounds rude, but I don't mean anything by it. <laughs> okay, just pick oh, up the sphere. No, you're right. Let me see. Are you clammy? Mm hmm. Do you want a cloth or something? Or are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry, it's okay. Sorry, yeah. It's okay. Just keep holding it. Just get yourself steady and start. You tell me when you're ready. Okay, yeah. starting the third beep. Here come the beeps. <laughs> so, one minute, 13 seconds to beep. And she's off to a very quick start here. Steady, 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 steady. 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 Well done. Watch the Okay, hold it there, Cass. Okay. Steady yourself. Okay. Steady yourself. You ready? Yeah. Start the clock. You can afford to take your time. Yeah, that's... Okay, just hold it there. Take your time, plenty of time. You ready? Yeah. Start the clock. Okay, just hold it there. Okay, that's okay. You got Stay. the good Okay. You ready? Yeah. Start the clock. Just take your time. Okay, steady. <laughs> steady, it's okay, Kaz. You ready, Kaz? You ready? Yeah. Start the clock. So, four time penalties so far. But she's over halfway through already. This is actually an incredibly fast time. Keep calm, keep calm, keep steady, steady, steady. Steady, just hold it there. You're okay. Stop. You ready? Yeah. Start the clock. Oh, just hold it. Just hold it there. Take your time. All she has to do is set it down. And she's done it with 20 seconds to start. Kaz, can I just say, I don't think I've seen anybody move that quickly with the swear ball before. How do you think you've done? You said it off how many times? Quite a lot. You said it off? Uh, uh, tell you. me. You actually, you won the point! Telling her to take her time, but that quickness got her the point. Mitchell's leading in the fight for the flight. Let's have a look. Kaz might have been a bit wobbly at first, but she stormed her way through. The boys still on one point, but one step closer to Singapore. The Manchester girls with two points. Girls, well done, going well. Just keep that going, and you could be in sizzling Singapore. Boys, you just got to keep it going. You're not far behind. You can still get yourself involved. Mitch, what's challenge four? 
Okay, in challenge four is padlocks. Now, each player has an identical set of five padlocks to unlock, and a key ring containing a set of ten keys. Five of the keys are real, five are dummies. Now, starting with the outermost padlock, they must unlock each in order. Each time a padlock is successfully opened, the column below it will light up orange. And the first to unlock all five wins. Well, smart finger work and staying icy cool is a bonus here. It's that time again. Put your faith in a friend. Two one down. Who's going to pull it back level for you? Brian. 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 Why Brian? Out of all of us, he's the most focused, and he'll be able to switch off the crowd easily. Just wouldn't be phased by anything like that at all. Also, never actually owned a set of keys in my life, so, so well. you know, I thought it was a good opportunity. So, you know, get accustomed to what it is to have a set of but keys. But guys need this point. You got, you got, um, a, 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 like a method worked out for it. You got any tree kind? falling in the woods, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded really it sounded good, though, didn't it? It sounded, it sounded so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no we've got the right man for you. Brian's the, the man. Yeah, he's yeah, going to bring the point. He's going to bring home the bacon. Definitely. Okay, <laughs> hopefully. So, the right guy. Who's going for the girls? Make it three one. George. 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 Why is she good for this? She's got um, a great big, huge, fat bunch of keys. <laughs> Massive. With a, yeah, literally, it's got a house key and a car key on it, which has got about 14 key rings. But they're not even big regular fat, key rings. They're like cuddly toys, about this big. You can't just see the keys. Well, she drags yeah. them around like this. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we should have put some cuddly toys on your key ring then. Yeah, yeah it's mine. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Okay, Mitch, we've got George going for the girls, and we've got Brian going for the boys. Okay, good choice. Now, once again, the players going head to head. So, Brian and George, please both come and unlock your challenge. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? A little bit nervous, or are you you're ready for it? No, I'm ready for it. You're ready? Because yeah. you can put the girls free one up. Yeah, I will do. Are you going to do it? I will, absolutely. You're really confident about yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Brian, she's quite confident about that, so I don't know what you're doing up here, mate. You pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous, but, nervous. you know, I can... I reckon I can do it. Well, good luck to you. Let's uh, take our positions. OK. Remember, you can't move on to the next lock until you've undone the one before. All right. OK. Start on the third beep. Here come the beeps. So now, can Brian unlock another point for the boys? They are one behind as things stand. And goes George unlocking the first padlock. And Brian not far behind, one for the boys as well. Sideways dance at the opposition. Remember, ten keys, only one of which fits the lock. Not that one. But two down now for the boys. Two down for the girls as well. So they're neck and neck. OK, he's doing well, number three on lot. And number four, he's speeding along. We mark three on lot for the girls. But can George catch up with him now? A point for the boys! Was it, fun, was it a bit, your hands a bit slippery yeah. now? It's not easy, it's not an easy game. I think that was pretty, I think you've done pretty well. I'm lucky there. Brian? Well, that was so tough. It was tough. It was a really good, it was a good battle for the both of them. Let's hear it for the both of them. Brian and George, come on! <laughs> Mitch, what's 
news from the scoreboard. OK, the headlines this hour are the Manchester Leicester still on two, but the Bournemouth boys just equalised now, also with two points. Well, it's dead simple. Anyone can win from here. The decider will decide, and that's why we call it the decider. There's just one player left on each side to do a challenge. Katie and Anthony, take up your challenge. Katie, it's 2-2. Two, two. You're the last person to go. Yeah. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Can you deal with that pressure? Definitely. Are you going to win it for the girls? Yes. You saved the best till last, don't you, mean? Well, apparently, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best, then. She's the best? Yeah. You might as well just phone him a taxi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let me just, let me just tell him. Right. You got any cab numbers? How are you feeling? She's I'm very feeling, confident. I'm feeling fine. Honestly. You look very chilled and just, okay, bring it on. Yeah. I'm, Is that how I'm, you're feeling? Yeah, I'm cool. OK. Mitch, what is the vital decider this week? It is this, Ian. Target ball. Anthony and Katie will now take it in turns to bowl into this circular target. But the tricky bit is they have to allow for the dip in the middle of the course. They each have five goes, and each ball that comes to rest entirely within the circle adds one point to their team's final score. OK. So whoever's got the most points at the end of this will be playing for that holiday in Singapore. Whoever loses, well, straight home. I'm sure you know that. OK, cos I'm a gentleman, I'm going to let the ladies go first. So when you're ready, pick up your bowl and bowl. Good luck. Three, two to the girls as it is when you're ready. <laughs> it's just short. First one, perfect. Can you do it again? Of course, can. You can do it again. That will help you immensely. Good luck with it. So you've got a feel with the first one, so take your time. Still only one ahead. It's up to you. Put the pressure on there. you'll be putting him under a lot of pressure. All sorts of pressure. It's up to you, though. Do my best. That's all you can do. It's a little curl on it, so, you know? Who's left? Still 3-2. You need to get one, just to put her under some pressure. In your own time. <laughs> You've got two left. Yep. If you get one of these, you will have to get his two. So it's up to you. You yep. can put him under a lot of pressure now. Do go and do. Take your time. Okay. 
They know, they know, if you get this in, you've won. You are playing for the holiday, okay? Oh, I will do. All the best. It's a great effort. It's a great effort. Let's hear it for Anthony and the boys. Let's hear it for Anthony and the boys. Come on. Come on. Thank you very much. Come in, girls. Come in, girls. Well, you cracked it, ladies. Just one more challenge between you and a VIP trip to Singapore. How does that make you feel? Wicked. Does it make you feel wicked? wicked? Just imagine, you could be here. That's right, girls, you're about to experience your own Singapore fling. Prepare to be dazzled because we've pulled out all the stops. We'll show you all this exciting city has to offer before whisking you off to relaxing Bintan Island where you'll be pampered to your heart's desire. It's just waiting to be won. Good luck, girls. OK, ladies, here they are. Five tickets to a fantastic holiday. They could be yours. You're just going to have to do a little bit more work for them. We know you're really good friends, you must be to get this far. But your holiday is going to depend on how well you really know each other. Because you are going to be playing for your friend's ticket for that holiday. Mitch, do some explaining. OK, now contestants, you'll nominate the friend you think knows you best. They'll pick a question at random which is designed to reveal how well you really know each other. If your chosen friend's answer matches yours, you go on holiday to Singapore and your chair stays white. If she gives a different answer, you're staying at home and your chair goes red. The pressure is on you to choose the right friend to answer for you and the pressure is on your friend to get it right. Okay, you're each going to get three possible answers to your question. At this point, can I just say, just be totally honest, it's the best way, OK? You want to see five white chairs, because if they're white, you're on the flight, that's what we want, that's what you want. OK, ladies, Katie, you're going to be up first, so choose a mate to decide your fate. Kaz. Kaz, come and join me. Kate, make your way to the podium. Make them noise for them. Come on! Now, Katie claims Kaz can read her like a book. You're fantastic on the for you, really quick. You're on a winning streak. Are you going to send Katie on holiday? I am indeed. Singapore looks really yeah. good at this time of year. OK, good luck. Can we have the questions for Katie, please? She's one of those lucky ones. Laggy, laggy, laggy. <laughs> OK. If Katie was granted one wish for a day, what would she choose? Now, we've given both girls the same three choices. Would Katie like unlimited wealth? Would she like to be the girlfriend of anyone she wanted for the day? Or would she like to be invisible? Okay. Happy with that? Ish. Happy ish. You've got an answer, you got an answer, Katie? Yeah. Okay, Katie. Let's hope you are on your way to Singapore. Turn of this card. If you had one wish, what would you wish to be? To have limitless wealth. <laughs> to be invisible. <laughs> oh lucky baby. <laughs> One retro, unfortunate, plenty of time to catch up. OK? You ready, Becca? Yes. Do you make <laughs> decide your fate? George. George, come and join me, Becca, make your way to the podium. Come on. Best mates for seven years, these two say they'd do anything for each other. So, as it stands, Kate, unfortunately, is not on her way, but are you going to send Becca? I am. Good luck to you. Can I have the questions for Becca, please? Choose me. Becca was to get married tomorrow, where would she hold the service? So, if Becca was to get married tomorrow, where would she hold the ceremony? In a church, at a registry office, or on a beach? Yeah. Happy with that? Pretty much. You've got an answer? You got an answer, Becca? Yeah. Okay. Let's hope you're on your way. You don't want no more red chairs, okay? If you was to get married, where would you want to get married? Beach. On a beach. On a church. Oh, I thought all women wanted to get married. I knew it. 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 I kn
as it stands. <laughs> Two red chairs, but it doesn't matter. Because there's still plenty of time. Kaz, choose a mate to decide your fate. Becca. Becca, come and join me. Kaz, make your way to the podium. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. These two go back a long way and play hockey together. You're not going to get another red chair, are you? Nope. You're going to go. You're going to send Kaz to Singapore. Yes. Can we have a question for Kaz, please? Choose one of those, please. What would Kaz be most likely to order in a restaurant? So, what would Kaz be most likely to order in that restaurant? Something expensive? Maybe something healthy? Or maybe something she hadn't tried before. Okay, we've got an answer. You got an answer, Kaz? Let's hope she's on her way to Singapore and not back to Manchester. Nothing against Manchester. <laughs> what would you like to order if you went to a restaurant? Something expensive. Something healthy. <laughs> It's okay, three red chairs. I'm sure you'd like them to be white, but at the moment they're not. So, Laurie, yes. you're gonna need to choose a mate to decide your fate. I'm gonna choose Katie. Katie, come and join me, sweetheart. Laurie, make way to the podium. Now they really need to send someone to Singapore. Let's see how these two do. Come on, Katie. Are you gonna send Laurie? Yeah. Let's hope she's not going on her own. Can I have questions for Laurie, please? Choose one of those, please. Choose a lucky one. That lucky one? Well, I hope so. Okay, so do I, so do we all. How would Laurie describe her body? <laughs> <laughs> At least we got you laughing, ladies. <laughs> oh dear. So again, three choices. None of the above. <laughs> just, just truth. We just want the truth. And is the truth healthy, cuddly, or sexy? Nice voice. Nice touch. OK, we've got an answer. Mm -hmm. Have you got an answer, Laurie? I have indeed. OK. Laurie, how would you describe your body? Cuddly. Cuddly! Yes, she is. She is cuddly. At least you're on your way, you're on your way to Singapore. George, you're the only one left. So, choose your mate to decide your fate. I'm going to choose Laurie. Of course you are. Laurie, come and join me. George and Laurie are good pals. They spend some time travelling around Canada together. What did you say? You don't want to do it on your own? No, I've got to get her through. You've got to get her through. So you're going to send George? <laughs> yes. You're going to bring her, I should say. Without a doubt. Good luck. Can we have questions for George, please? I'm going to choose Choose one of those cuddly, Laurie. This one. Okay. Question is... How would George be most likely to lose a million pounds? So, how would George be most likely to lose that million? Yeah. Would it be through a bad investment, through fast living and fast spending? Or maybe she'd give it all to charity? Oh. <laughs> We've got an answer. <clears throat> you got an answer, George? Yeah, I have. I hope it works out for you, ladies. Good luck. George, how would you be most likely to lose one million pounds? Fast living and fast Fast spending. living! <laughs> so, as it stands, you're not going. Kate, Becca, Kaz are staying here. But, Laurie and George, you are on your way to lovely Singapore. Come up here and get your tickets. Come here, girls. Come on. Is there a round of applause for the girls? Are you happy about that? Yeah. You must be delighted. You look very happy. Yeah, absolutely wicked. At the moment, you're just a twosome. Your friends, unfortunately, are not going. But they could be if you're willing to gamble. Mitch? OK, Friday, we have one more question, which is about all five of you girls. Now, if Katie, Becca and Caroline get the same answer as Laurie and George, you'll all be going to Singapore. But beware, girls, if the answers fail to match, Ua, it's all over. All five of you will be staying at home. And let me just remind you that teams have actually gambled before and lost. It can happen 
It has happened and it might just happen again. So ladies, as it stands, you are on your way to Singapore. Nothing can change that. You can take the tickets now, walk out, show's over. Good luck, unfortunately. The ladies would have to stay in Manchester. It's up to you, you're the winners, okay? Have a think about it. I'm gonna go and talk to your three friends. I'm sure they need somebody to give them a little bit of a pep talk. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hello. How you doing? All right. What do you think? Hey. On their own? Disappointed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you Talk do? Totally up to them. I think they will. Yeah. They looked very We're happy. Team. You're a team. They I'm looked very happy team. when I called them up to t get their tickets as winners. Mm -hmm. So you're desperate to go, really, aren't you? Yeah. So it's up to the girls. <laughs> Please. Girls? Yeah. You're the winners, it's up to you. What's it going to be? Gamble. Yeah, we're going to gamble. Yeah, of course they're going to gamble. We're going to gamble. Of course they're going to gamble. They're friends, they came together. One team, one dream, and all that. Good luck. OK, can we have the gamble question, please? OK. Ladies' fate rests in this question. The five of you organise a hen weekend for one of your sisters. Where do you agree to go? So Singapore depends on this. Where do they agree to go for that hen weekend? Again, three choices. And they're these, Dublin, a health spa, or Paris. You've got an answer, you got an answer, ladies? Yes, yes. yes. Got an answer. Just one second. I'm giving you one chance to reconsider. It's a lot to gamble. Definitely gamble. You definitely, definitely gamble. gamble. We've gotten this far, yeah, yeah. that's good enough. So yeah. if we don't win, then that's it, the final answer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ladies, I really hope this works out for you. For your trip to Singapore, if you used to organise Hen Weekend for your sister, where would it be? Paris. Yes, 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 yes. And I don't. Adam Mason take a chance on you. They are all going to Singapore. That's why I love this show. Bad luck to the boys, boys. Massive goodbye to the boys. Massive goodbye to the girls. And a massive goodbye to you. Good luck and God bless. believe it. It was just a joke. I was doing so well to start off with and I knocked my own one out of play then I knocked hers into play. I looked up again and the robot was like on the square so I was like right then never mind. But he was really really good so. Could just didn't know where I was you know the, the light the bright lights after being in the blindfold and uh, just completely forgot what I was doing and uh, but sort of out in the end. We thought you know we'd go for the classy establishment as opposed <laughs> to being ladettes and <laughs> knee-jerk reaction and it paid off. <laughs> <laughs>